Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Jermaine Morgan TV. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the minor nine arpeggio. So if you're not a theory head, don't worry. It's not as complicated as it sounded. If you already know it, hang around. You might learn something new. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode. Do me a huge favor, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and press that subscribe button and turn on my bell notifications so you don't miss any more videos. All right, so jumping right into this lesson, what you heard me play at the beginning was like a B minor nine arpeggio with some other little bells and whistles in there, but the initial sound is that minor nine, okay? If you don't know music theory, don't worry about it. I'll break this down for you. So the nine in music theory is basically kind of considered like an extended chord because it goes beyond like the seven notes. All right. And so it basically, it just kind of goes up an octave. So instead of saying the two, we would say the nine. So if we were playing the numbers in the key of B, we know we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one, right? All right. So now if we're thinking extended chords, we can keep counting. So, all right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we have our nine right there. So if we want to play that, that B minor nine chord, we have that B with that flat at seven, just like a regular minor chord. And instead of playing, we would play that minor nine. Okay? And so that's the foundation of what we're building off of. We're basically arpeggiating that B minor nine chord because there are a lot of notes that fall under that. So we're just gonna kind of pull away from this. Now, one thing you will notice, if any of you guys are familiar with the modes, you know about the Dorian mode. It kind of pulls away from that same mode, but it's not using as many notes. All right, so with that in mind, this is what the B minor nine arpeggio looks like. So you have the one, the flat third, the five, the flat seven, and the nine. Okay, so that's all we have. And that's what we're using as that arpeggio. All right, so again. And remember guys, at any point in this video, you feel like I'm going too fast, there is a settings tab here on YouTube where you can slow this down, where you can break all those notes down. But for the sake of time, I wanna kind of move on with the lesson. So you're basically hearing me play it like this. Now, you may say that sounds a little different from what you just showed us. Now, all I'm doing is I'm adding two notes just to kind of add a little more bebop to it, so to speak. So all I'm doing is I'm sliding into that one. All right, I'm sliding into it. And when I get here, I do like a hammer on to that nine. Whole step. So you have, and on the way down, at the E that wasn't there before. All right. So in context, I normally use it to get to the four, but because the line is so short, you have to work on the placement of how you use it. So that's how I used it to get to the four. And so you heard that line in this particular backing track and I played just a little bit of it. It's in a different key, but it's the same line. So you'll hear it at the beginning. So you see that led me to the four now. In that particular example, I was in the key of G. And I use it to get to that four. Now, if we did the same thing, now remember we're in the key of B, if we did the same thing, it could get me right to that G. And it, when I say go to the four, I'm thinking relative major. I'm going to the relative major four. So I know if that B is my six, because I don't believe I explained that earlier. If that B is my six, well, I know if that's the six, then that D has to be my one. And so I can go to that four, which is that G. So, all right. And so I'll show you that again. Getting me right into that four. So that's pretty much it for this lesson, guys. I wanted to just kind of give you a quick concept of how to use this minor nine arpeggio. You can do this in any key. You don't have to just be in B or G. It works all across the fretboard and a quick application for it is you can use it over the six, 
going to the full. So that's a quick way. That's not the only way, but that's just a quick way you can use it. All right, so real quick, many of you guys that have been watching for the last couple of weeks, you know I've been doing the stream giveaways. So this week's winner is Robert Bickle. He wins a pair of SIT Foundation strings, and I'm gonna send these out to you. So Robert, if you're watching this video, please contact me. Send me an email at jermaine at jermainemorgan.net so I can get your strings over to you. And here's the thing, guys. I would love to give everybody a free set of strings, but obviously I cannot do that because there's so many people watching this video. And I'm sure you guys will probably put SIT strings out of business. But if you do enjoy the strings, do me a favor and be sure to go and support them. You can order their stuff on Amazon. That's probably the easiest way to get their stuff if you can't find it in the music store close to you. So since I can't give you all strings, here's what I want to do. I want to give everybody, all of you, yeah, you too, access to two free licks. They're not on YouTube anywhere. You won't find them anywhere else. But in the link that I put below, you can access these two free licks. So right after this video, be sure to click the link below and I will put it at the end of this video as well. So you can click the link there. It doesn't matter, click it up here or click the link below and you can get access to these licks. Also, if you're not part of my monthly membership lessons, you're probably missing out. We're gonna dig a little bit more into the idea of using this modern nine arpeggio. So if you wanna dig a little bit more into that, I encourage you to become a monthly member. If not, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I'm out. Peace.